Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super exciting. I've actually been dying to make this video for a really, really long time now, but I've just kind of been waiting because knowing ColourPop, of course I would make this video and then they would announce that they're coming out with like foundations and pressed powders and mascaras. Yeah. Obviously, you can't wait forever, and I'm gonna go ahead and use what I've got and get a little creative. They don't have things like pressed powders and mascaras, things like that, so I'm gonna use other products for that, but those are just like a very few product. Um, the rest is gonna be all ColourPop, and I'm like so freaking excited to make this video. So without further ado, let's get into full face using ColourPop makeup. I'm also gonna try my very best to make sure that everything I use in today's video can still be purchased online, that it's not discontinued or sold out or anything like that, so. Yeah, let's get into it. Of course, like with any makeup look, we're going to start off with primer first. This is the Amethyst Crystal Priming Spray, and it's so, so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and spritz this on my face. It smells like cucumbers. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the No Filter Concealer all over my face as a foundation. I have done this once before. I remember when I first reviewed these on my channel, I did half a face wearing it as a foundation. What am I saying? So that's what I'm gonna do today. It's been a while. Um, I'm gonna see which shade I'm going to be. I wear the shades 5, 10, and 15. Those are like the closest ones to me. As you can tell, like I am running pretty low on some of them. I think I'm gonna use the shade 10 Fair Neutral, and I'm just going to make a bunch of marks. I'm gonna work pretty quickly so that it doesn't like dry down too quickly. I'm just gonna apply a bunch of little stripes. This concealer does dry down a little bit darker at first application. I don't know if you can tell, but see? Yeah, it gets pretty dark as soon as you put it, but once you blend it out, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna take my little e.l.f. little glitter sponge. I love this thing so much. When you start blending it out, it goes back to its original color, if that makes any sense. It's really interesting, actually. This is blending out really, really nicely. So this is one little layer, this is before and after. It is on the more cooler side for me, it's a little bit more pinky for like an all over thing. I do have a little bit more yellow in my skin, but that's okay, we're gonna go ahead and like warm up the skin soon, so don't you worry about that. Go ahead and do the other side. I wonder if putting a little bit of light neutral 15 would make it look a little bit better. I wonder, because it is a little bit more warm toned concealer. I probably should have gone with that shade. I guess we're going in with one more layer. I'm looking a little ghostly, but don't you worry, we will warm up the skin. It actually doesn't look too bad in real life, but I have to say it looks so pretty on the skin, like really, really flawless, amazing. I want to say full coverage and it's not super matte and it's not super luminous. I would say it's a very natural satin. I'm gonna go into the shade 5 Fair, which is the lightest, and I'm going to conceal my under eyes with the concealer. I really like the tone of this concealer. It's much more yellow, as you can tell. I like more yellow-based concealers for me personally. I wouldn't be surprised if I start wearing this like a foundation because it looks really, really good. I'm gonna go into a little bit of a darker shade to cream contour. I haven't really cream contoured with this color before. This is medium tan 35. I didn't want to go with the super, super dark shade because I did that once and oh, no, no, no. It did not work out. So I'm gonna go into this shade. If you guys don't know me, I'm not really a cream contour type of person. Not very good at it. I don't really fuss with it. Mm. I don't know if that's gonna work out, but let's blend out the cheeks first. This is a little bit on the warmer side for a contour, but honestly, it blended out really nicely and it does not look half bad, so I'm actually really happy about that. I got a little bit of color back in my face. I'm not as scared anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this to other parts of my face. That was a really crooked line on my nose. Ow. I just poked my eye with my brush. Fantastic. So this is a little close-up on my skin. I haven't said it yet or anything. This is just how the concealer looks all over and it looks so, so pretty. Oh my god, like it looks flawless. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this face real quick. And this is a close-up of the face set. It still looks really good. I'm actually quite shocked and impressed on how pretty this looks on my skin right now. 
fabulous. Now I'm going to move on to bronzing. I'm taking one of my favorite pressed powder bronzers. This is called California Dreaming. It's a really nice matte warm tone bronzer. This is going to add some like warmth to our skin. Even though I feel like that concealer, the darker one, did a really nice job in warming up my skin. You guys saw how ghostly I look. So I'm just going to take a very, very tiny amount and softly blend this into my skin. As you can tell, it's pretty warm. It's a really nice summertime blush. I meant bronzer. I'm kind of torn between what to use for my blush. I have this pressed powder blush in the shade Rom-Com. Love this a lot. One of my favorites. And I also have these palettes here. These came out a little bit ago. I believe they still do have this online. Um, this is the Double Dare palette. One of my absolute freaking favorites. I know this looks like kind of like a bronzer. But it's a very neutral toned blush that I love. And the highlighter next to it. Like... Oh my god, this is one of the most beautiful highlighters. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I think I kind of want to use this only because I haven't used this in such a long time and I miss it. I miss it so much. I'm going to take a really, really small amount of this. I guess we're going for like that really bronzy, warm look today. I love this blush so much. It's such a perfect everyday shade. It just goes with everything. It's not too pink. It's not too peachy. It's a matte my favorite. I was crossing my fingers and hoping that they still have this palette and they do so I highly recommend this if you're like in two tones like this. And for highlighter we have so many options. We have the Super Shock cheek highlighters, we have highlighter palettes, we have the highlighter that comes in this palette. It's just there's a lot. We even have pressed single highlighters. I'm overwhelmed. I really want to use the highlighter that comes in the Double Play Duo because it's so freaking pretty and it's been a while but I also want to take a little bit of the Super Shock cheek Highlighter in the shade Lunch Money, which is a really pretty soft golden pearlescent shade. I'm going to go into Lunch Money first on a really small highlighting brush. And I'm just going to pop this on my cheeks. It's so freaking pretty. Let's do it this side. I went really light-handed with it, but it still looks really pretty and glowy. I don't want to go too crazy, even though you can build these up to be quite intense. So now I'm going to go into the Double Play palette and take this highlighter. And I'm going to go over top. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this freaking glow. I could cry. We are going to be bronzed and glowy today. Before I move on to my brows and my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face using the Amber Crystal Setting Spray. I love the way this one smells. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use the ColourPop Brow Pencil in the shade Dope Taupe, which is my absolute freaking favorite. I need to get another one because I'm running very low. And then I'm also going to use the Brow Boss Gel to kind of set my eyebrows in place. It'd be really awkward and unfortunate if I ran out of this pencil while I was filming this. <laughs> I need to finish my brows. Now I'm going to go into the Brow Boss Gel and just quickly run that to my brows. I'm looking at my skin up close right now while I'm doing this and I cannot get over how flawless my skin looks. I have no pores. I have nothing. I have no imperfections on my face. What is going- oh my god, I'm gonna have to wear this concealer as a foundation. Okay, the brows are done. Colourpop also has a huge variety of eye products. You have Super Shock Shadows, you have Single Press Shadows, you have eyeshadow palettes, you have a Supernova Metallic Liquid Eyeshadows, you have a lot of things. And I'm a little overwhelmed on what I'm supposed to use on my eyes, but I want to kind of use something I haven't used in a while because they've been coming up with a lot of eyeshadow palettes lately. And I think for the most part, I've used all of them in videos, I want to say. So I think I want to go back and use some of their pressed eyeshadows because these are amazing. I love these. These are my like first loves. I will definitely make sure that the ones I use are still available online. But I'm really excited and then maybe I will throw in a super shock shadow on the lid. Who knows? I don't know what I'm going to do, what look I'm going for, but we're going to do something and let's just get into it already. I'm literally sitting here on my iPad searching every single shade on Colourpop's website just to make sure that it's in stock and this is going to take absolutely forever. I'm starting off with the shade Hear Me Out, which is the most perfect matte brow bone highlight shade. I love this so much. I've used the crap out of this. It's in one of my go-to Colourpop neutrals palette. For anybody wondering, Colourpop go-to neutral palette, huh? It's this. I've had this forever. This is like the colors like I would use every single day, my go-to shades. 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go into this really pretty matte mustard shade. It's called Paper Tiger, which I don't know, I really like that name a lot. And this is going to go into my crease. I'm telling you, mustard shadows are all the rage right now. I'm gonna go into this shade, it's called Lil Boat, which I just realized it's like Lil Yachty, like a yacht and a boat, and that's funny. <laughs> this is a matte rich brown shade, and I'm gonna take that on the same blending brush, and I'm going to pop a little into my crease. I wonder what my wrapper name would be. Leave me a comment on what you think my rapper name would be and what you think would be your rapper name. I'm curious, this could be fun. Maybe I could be the little messy. Little messy, little messy, little messy, little messy, little messy, little messy. <laughs> I'm also gonna smudge a little boat on the bottom lash line. I literally could never look in the mirror when I'm doing this. I just poked my eye. Again. I'm gonna go into a much deeper dark matte brown. This is called Cloud 9. One of my favorites. This is in my neutrals palette. I just want to deepen up the crease a little bit more. I still have no idea what direction I'm going with on my eyes or what I'm gonna put on my lid. Should I do a bright color? Should I do something sparkly? Something neutral? What do I do? Okay, so I literally spent 30 minutes going through my entire collection because for some odd reason, everything I wanted to put on my lids today was discontinued and no longer on the ColourPop website. So I'm like, okay, what do I do? So I finally figured it out. I'm gonna do like a minty lid since I kind of am wearing mint, why not? So I'm gonna take the shade Snapdragon, which is a matte super shock shadow, and then I'm gonna take the shade Special Delivery, which is a ultra glitter, one of my favorites. It just gives you like a beautiful deposit of sparkle. Ooh! And I'm gonna pair this on top of this one. I'm very excited to see how this goes, so let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with Snapdragon, and I really wanna use my finger, but I have really long nails. So I'm gonna try with the brush first and see how that goes on. Then maybe I'll just go over it with my finger. Pop this on. Ooh, not bad. Ooh, that is bright. Interesting. This is actually going on so nicely with a brush. I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions on what brush I'm using. This is the Zoeva 234 Luxe Smoky Shader Brush. It's actually like quite perfect for packing on these shadows. Now we're gonna go into the glittery shade, which is Special Delivery. I'm taking it on the same brush. I'm literally going to pack that on top. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> this is so pretty. Whoa. Yes. It's definitely giving it like more of like a wet look, and it's so freaking beautiful. I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna take a little bit of Special Delivery on a small pencil brush. And I'm going to pop that on the inner corners of my eyes. I'm going to go back to the shadow Cloud 9 on a small pencil brush. And I'm going to kind of smoke out my lower lash line a little bit more and deepen it up. I think this look calls for some eyeliner. I'm going to take my favorite cream gel color. This is the shade Best O. And it's kind of like this brown, deep burgundy shade. And I think that's going to look really, really pretty. I don't want to necessarily do black but I really love this a lot. So I'm gonna do this off camera because I need to get like really close and it's impossible to do it on camera. <laughs> so I went ahead and did my wing liner. I also put the same shade in my waterline and I think that this shade brings out my brown eyes and I feel like it would bring out a lot of different colored eyes as well. It's not just your typical black. It's just kind of like this burgundy plummy shade. It looks black from far away, but when you get close up, it's like, it just like makes your eyes pop. I don't know how to explain it. I'm obsessed with this. I love it so much. I added my mascara, which is obviously not from ColourPop because they don't got that yet. Um, so yeah, this is the finished eye look. Let me get up close. of course we have the lips and I'm gonna be wearing one of my absolute favorite ultra matte lip shades at the moment actually for a while now it's so freaking pretty and I was very fortunate enough to find out that it's still available online I was crossing my fingers I was like please don't be discontinued so this is what it looks like it's called Lil Pump not a huge fan of him but a huge fan of this shade it's a really pretty cool tone pinky nude and so let's just put it on the lips already I am just in awe on how good my face looks, my skin. It's so smooth. I have full coverage. It is flawless. It's so pretty. I can't get over it. What the heck? This performed better than like 
85% of the foundations I own. Like this is definitely something I would probably even wear again as a foundation. I'm just shocked. I'm wow if you have the no filter concealer please try it out as a foundation and let me know what you guys think obviously everybody's skin type is different but for me it's looking pretty fantastic and it goes without saying that everything else went on perfectly because i used a lot of my tried and true favorite ColourPop products and i am just feeling myself so much right now i look good i'm not going anywhere i'm staying home it's always like that. I'm just honestly beyond happy right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like the look that I came up with. Finally, I did it. A full face using ColourPop. One day, they're gonna come out with foundation, powders, mascaras, and maybe we'll do an updated version of this. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Messy Jessie Beauty, Snapchat, Jessie Jet, and Instagram, Makeup by Jessie. And of course, if you have not subscribed to my channel already, I would... <laughs> I would appreciate if you did so before you go. It truly means a lot to me and I'll see you guys in my next video.